What the hell have you done to yourself? All right, everybody. What is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. The Black Ops 3 era is officially here. Is this the Call of Duty we've all been waiting for that we all deserve? Uh, as you guys know, the last couple of years has been rough. Is Treyarch going to bring it back? What do you guys think? What? What do I think? Oh, all right. I guess I should probably tell you guys that. Now, look, I didn't upload a video yesterday. Uh, because I want to actually play the game like I wanted to play the game get a feel for the game instead of just sit here And you know spam you guys with bullshit clickbait videos all day long try and milk the game. That's not me I'm an actual fan of the game. That's why I upload the videos. I'm a fan of the game fan of the franchise fan of playing the game not just talking about it fan of playing the game and So far I'm four hours into it and so far so good man. I mean this is a uh, The maps are good. Okay. I mean they're not perfect Oh, that one map that's got the trains in the middle of it. I hate that map. I can't remember the name of it. That map is ass. But pretty much every other map is good. Haven't played on Nuketown yet. Haven't played on Nuketown yet. And I know everyone's going to be like, oh, the snipers, the snipers. I haven't seen too many snipers yet in this game either. Well, except for this guy. And he just got owned. He didn't kill me. That sniper did not kill me. So, I mean, if this was Black Ops 2, I would have been dead. Guaranteed. At that range, I, I wouldn't have stood a chance. Uh, but this is a good game. It's a heavy um, left trigger game. <laughs> You're going to be holding the left trigger a lot. A lot of choke points, a lot of lines of sight. Uh, this game, the maps are set up for MLG, man. You guys already know. And I'm not, I don't like this new lightning strike interface. It's too small. And while I'm speaking about kill streaks, let's just get right into it, man. Listen, uh, Treyarch, this is the year 2065 in this game, right? So how is the kill streaks worse? Let's get right into it. My first complaint of this game. My first official complaint is that the kill streaks suck. Okay? Not only do the kill streaks suck, but I'm a TDM player. You guys know me. I'm a filthy casual. And the kill streaks, once again, really hard to come by in Team Deathmatch. I don't understand that. How are you going to make streaks, uh, which are fun, which everybody loves, how are you going to make streaks so hard to come by in your most played game mode? I don't understand it, dude. I, I just don't get it. I really don't. Um, so not only are streaks worse, but they're harder to get. Uh, last time I checked, the only place where two negatives make a positive is math class. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really feeling the whole, uh, you know, I gotta get five kills for a UAV. And, uh, that guy's sniping properly. I like to see that shit. And, uh, I'm gonna call in the Hellstorm missile. And look what they did to, I mean, look at this, man. The Hellstorm, I know there was just one guy there, but look. I mean, how many missiles came down? Like, four? What was that? I remember in the beta, like, ten shot down. Man, they nerfed the hell out of the Hellstorm missile. You can't even call it the Hellstorm missile anymore. It's just like, I don't know. I got a better chance of killing somebody by throwing a piece of cheese at them. I mean, it's just awful. It's awful what they did to the streaks. Listen, Treyarch, MW2 was one of the most popular Call of Duty games ever. The kill streaks went ham. Black Ops 2, one of the most popular Call of Duty games ever. 12 million people played that shit monthly for three years. The kill streaks went ham. Nobody liked Ghosts. Nobody liked Advanced Warfare. The kill streaks sucked. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, man. The Call of Duty community likes kill streaks that go ham. These kill streaks are ass. Uh, and, but I mean, this bow is pretty cool. I get look at this shit. I mean, I'm still trying to get the hang of this. Oh, get on, baby. The gore is back in this game, which is great. And yeah, that bow, that bow is really fun to use. Even though I think I killed myself with it by accident in this match. I'm I'm still getting used to it, guys. I'm only four hours deep into this game, but so far so good, guys. Really enjoying it. We went through the Call of Duty Dark Ages, the COD Depression, but I think Treyarch has brought it back right here. And, I mean, even though I'm not a fan of the sliding and boosting, and I, I don't even think this game needs it. The advanced movements, this game doesn't need it. This game doesn't need the specialist abilities either, but they're in the game, and I mean, they're not that bad. I mean, I can't even tell you how many times I've been panicked, gravity spiked already, or noob tubed. Or, yeah, I mean, it's annoying, the specialist abilities, but it's not that bad. I don't think they should be in this game. I think this game would have been just fine if it was just a classic, if you had the classic movements. And, of course, my lightning strike, once again, doesn't kill anybody. No jackpots. I tell you what, man. If any of you guys want to hook me up right now, give me a good kill streak loadout that works. What are the kill streaks that do work in this game? Because so far, I've tried. The lightning strike, it's not that great. The Hellstorm missile's complete ass. Uh, I got a GI unit out of a care package, and that dude went and camped in a building. Even though I put it on patrol, it didn't do anything. I, I don't know what's going on here. And I get my Sparrow again. A little Robin Hood Pro. And watch, watch what I do right here. No, I shot the wall and blew my ass up. Oh, my goodness. So, the specialist abilities sometimes backfire in your face. 
Uh, and I'll tell you what, man. Even though these maps are set up for MLG, like MLG style maps, they're still pretty good. I, I like these maps. They're still pretty fun. And I get my another lightning strike. Where's this guy at? I, I love this gun, by the way. The ICR. Using it with quick draw and grip. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the best setup is, man, because I don't know it. But trust me, there's like a million other YouTubers. They already got it figured out. Day one, they already got all the answers you need. I mean, we got some of the smartest people in the world here on YouTube. They can tell you anything you want to know. Best class setup, they already got 5, 10, 15 of them. They already know me. I haven't figured it out yet. And the thing that uh, this ICR sucks at close range. That's the only thing about it. It's a good gun. Uh, but as you just saw right there, it sucks at close range. You're not going to win too many close range gunfights with that ICR. There you go, guys. First gameplay of Black Ops 3. And... Ooh, Sniper gets own, baby. Sit down. So far, so good, fellas. I'm enjoying it. What do you guys think? I mean, I think the game is fun. I haven't been able to stop playing it. Uh, zombies, too. Zombies is amazing. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I finally figured out where the Juggernaut machine is. And I found a good train route. And that's pretty much all you need in Zombies. <laughs> really. Uh, the black market's really cool, too, guys. I already opened up one supply drop. I forgot to record it, though. Damn it! But it's not like I got anything good anyway. I think all I got was some kind of taunt or whatever. But, all right, guys. So a lot of people have been asking me how I'm doing so far in the game. Here's my early combat record. Only four hours deep. And there's my stats. You know, nothing crazy, but pretty solid. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what guns I like. I'm still learning the maps. But I have a feeling I'm going to be playing this game for the next three years. So I got plenty of time to learn all this shit. Or, of course, you guys can help me out. Put it down in the comment section. Not only what are the best kill streaks you like using, what, what's actually effective, but what are some good guns and setups that you guys like to run with? What are you having a lot of success with? Uh, maybe I'll try some of your setups and see if I have the same success as you guys. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to drop a like. It is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you on the next one.